Many robotic tasks require large amounts of actions to be executed, which is challenging for reinforcement learning. In order to make learning easier, complex tasks are decomposed into simpler subtasks. Another challenge is partial observability. Sometimes, the robot does not observe everything it needs to solve a task. For instance, this robot has no idea of its location in the building. Fortunately, what it sees is enough for it to complete any subtask, like navigating to a basket. Option observation initiation sets are a simple, yet effective, way of combining subtasks in a partially observable environment. This addresses both challenges. In this demonstration, we have two terminals, one blue and one green. The terminals are separated by a wall. It is impossible to go from one to the other directly. The terminals contain objects that have to be brought to the red location. The dynamic QR codes displayed on the terminals tell the robot whether they are full or empty. The red location provides no information about the state of the terminals. Therefore, the robot has to go to a terminal to observe its state, then remember it until it reaches the red location. A good strategy is to fetch objects from a terminal until empty, then go to the other terminal. This is a Kepera robot. A wireless camera mounted on top of it detects bright color blobs and can read QR codes from a short distance. Options allow the robot to move towards brightly colored objects and stop once a QR code is observable. These options are combined using option observation initiation sets. They give rise to an implicit memory and allow the robot to remember from which terminal it arrives at the red location and whether that terminal was full or empty. This allows the robot to solve the task despite its complexity and partially observable nature.